Hello, Fed Retirement Planning community. This is Cooper, and as you can see, today is casual Friday for me, uh, but I still wanted to get on and share a question, or an answer actually, to a question I received this week on how to prepare for retirement and some things that you need to look for, actually three specific things that you need to do before you actually decide to retire. So the question is, Cooper, I'm getting ready to retire. I'm not sure what I need to do before I send in my exit paperwork. Any tips? So this person is basically asking, what are some things that I need to do before I enter retirement? Now, I'm not just gonna speak to what you need to do as a federal employee and the things you need to send in and things like that. I've done articles and videos on those already. This is gonna be more towards just you who need some general tips on things you need to do to retire. And the first one is you need to plan how long you're going to live. Now, this isn't a very fun subject when I talk to people and it's very hard to predict, but having an idea on how long you're gonna be around around, what your longevity is gonna be, is really the first place you need to be to start planning. The reason that it's so important is because you're gonna plan out how you're gonna spend your money over the next 20, 30, 40, however many years that you plan on living after you retire. And that's how you're really gonna decide and see how long is your money's gonna last you, and you need to do that before you even retire. The problem is you don't wanna retire and all of a sudden you don't have enough money to live, you're spending down your TSP too quickly, um, your pension isn't enough, social security isn't enough. You need to make sure that you have enough money to actually retire, and one of the ways you do that is you look at your longevity. Now, the American Academy of Actuaries actually has a longevity tool. If you click up in this part of the screen, you'll be able to go to that, check it out, and kind of it gives you a good idea based upon different factors that you put in how long that you're gonna actually live. The second thing you need to do is do some lifestyle planning. Now, lifestyle planning is basically you mapping out how you're gonna spend your money in the future. So this includes budgeting, uh, what money you're gonna to need to go towards health expenses, what money you're gonna to need to go towards vacations, what money you're gonna to use to go visit your grandchildren in Nebraska when you live in Florida, things like that. So these are basically planning on how you're actually gonna live in retirement. I do not suggest you go into retirement without a plan. Now, I am a financial planner, so I typically plan more than most people. It's just in my nature, but that being said you need to have a plan before going forward because if you don't have a plan you do have a plan and that plan is to fail the third and final thing you need to do before you retire is get a handle on your retirement finances that means your TSP that means any IRAs that you have that means um, you know your life insurance your health insurance these these financial things that you're gonna rely on in, in the future your pension your Social Security and have it mapped out have an idea of when you're gonna elect Social Security. Have an idea of how much you're gonna withdraw from your TSP, or if you're gonna move it into your own IRA, or if you're gonna move it into a financial advisor. All this stuff starts happening, and that's one of the great reasons that financial advisors are around, because they can help you get through those tasks. Now, I would suggest looking for a financial advisor that helps federal employees specific. That's something that I actually do for my clients, but it's important that you look ahead to what's gonna happen in the future with your money, what's gonna happen with the TSP, what you're gonna do with your IRA, because you don't wanna get any retirement and you're scrambling to decide if you have enough money to actually retire, if you're scrambling to decide how much you need to withdraw from your TSP, how much you need to withdraw from your IRAs, when you're gonna elect Social Security, because electing Social Security is actually a big component of your retirement, especially if you're a FERS employee. You have three parts, Social Security, TSP, and your pension. So these are all things you need to look out for before you retire, okay? Don't just retire and then start looking at these things. Before you retire, check these things out. But this has been Cooper with FedRetirementPlanning.com. If you haven't subscribed to the newsletter yet, click up here, you'll be able to take to the page to sign up for the community. You'll be able to get our Fed Retirement Toolkit, Federal Employee Toolkit, as well as many eBooks, resources that I've written that I really think are helpful for you, as well as be on the email list. But thanks for the question, and keep sending them, and we'll see you next time.